Good morning, everyone. Obviously, you can see now is the late fall. Our life is like a circle of the natural. When we were born, we already know everything around us is impermanent. Doesn't matter how beautiful we were before, one day our face will always have wrinkle. We will have age spot, will become older and older until the day we will die and we will begin another circle of life. So this birth, maturity, death, the circle of this natural is not only existing in the human realm, it's also in all the being around us. When we born on the day we have the birth from our mother, we already take root for this turn of life, what person we could be. But how good we can be or how bad we can be depends on our own effort. If we study hard or if we work hard, we can enhance our knowledge, our skill. We can be successful in the society. We can be a very loving person in the family because our hard effort to accompany all our family member. But as a ultimate truth of the life or as a human being, this is not ultimate goal we are seeking for. We are seeking for liberation. That's why we need continue to learn the great wisdom from the Guanyin Bodhisattva, from different type of Bodhisattva, the very different type of the teaching. And we need also using those teaching from the old ten direction of the Buddha, deliver the teaching to us. It's just like we are a student. If we learn as much as we can from the teacher, but if we do not actually do the homework, practice at home, those knowledge giving and delivering by the teacher will not become ours. So that's why in the Buddhist philosophy, we say learning a path of self-liberation, we need by starting about learning, listening the great Dharma teaching, some meaningful awakening lectures, by listening, by reading, by reviewing. And after this of the learning progress, all type of practice and the compensation of this uh, enhancement of reviewing. And slowly we can reduce amount of our self-attachment. When we have less attachment, be more selfless, be more considered others, then you will discover our own space is not only ourself, our space is a full with all other beings. They are all in our heart, our mind, so that we can feel blessed, we can feel positive by understand we are not alone by ourselves. Actually, the most important is a practice, execute. We need to practice all the Dharma teaching being delivered by Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Guan Yin. We need actually try to practice in our daily life. We can start to treat the people with the kindness. We can begin our love to our neighbors, to our families. We can also try to forgive the people may hurt us before. So when we can practice this selfless, be more compassionate, be more giving, be more forgiving. And this actual execution or practice of the Buddha Dharma teaching 
will become our own seed of liberation seed. So this is very important. So I hope by learning or sharing or reading any type of method of learning, the key is we need to practice within, within our mind, within our attitude, within our mental behavior. So once we can keep practice, maybe we will fail for once, fail second time, third time, hundred times, thousand times, million times. But as long as we do not give up, we continue on the path of practice liberation, then one day when all the condition mature, we also can attain our liberation like a old ten direction of Buddha and the Guanyin Bodhisattva. It sounds a little difficult and challenging, but life is full with all challenge, right? If we never give up, one day we will definitely on the hill of the mountain to oversee all the mistake we have done, but we overcome at the end so we can climb up to the top of the mountain. I wish you enjoy my sharing of today by the late fall of this year and let's all learn together and to self-realize our inner wisdom one day. And I wish you have a pleasant year to come and hope to see you soon. Thank you.